This is the current state of structures at Namaingo Primary School in Namaingo District. Classroom blocks, toilets and teachers' quarters are all in a deplorable state. According to officials in the education sector, Namaingo Primary School is one of those over 60 primary schools in the district that requires urgent renovation by government. Out of the 84 schools that we have, we may find that 80% uh, of these schools may need to be renovated. And not only renovation, even our school need to, they need to have furniture. Most of our learners sit down. So the innovation may range from furniture, uh, you go to pit latrine, and then uh, and, uh, the general view of the school. The district has launched a fundraising drive for renovating the two most affected schools, where they require about 40 million shillings before schools reopen in January next year. We have very many primary schools in our district that are not in good state and more so health-wise. Some schools like Lufdu Primary, one of the core values of this day, people class, they started from open space and we thought, we felt as a community we are concerned not to only wait on government but to also come together, raise something and to help set up a classroom for our community children for entire Namango development. And secondly, at the health stage, the latrines within these schools are not in good modes, like Lufudu, three latrines have broken down. During the fundraising launch, the first Deputy Prime Minister, Rebecca Alitwala Kadaga, offered 5 million shillings in cash and pledged 1,000 iron seats. We agreed as leaders to improve the education under the Musoga Education Initiative. So we took the teachers for retraining from those bad schools, and in 20, 2019, the results had improved drastically. They were no longer among the last 23 in Uganda. But uh, it was not enough. Even now, the needs are still there, especially in the islands. Uh, lack of access, uh, not enough teachers. So we've come again to now to run. We released the second marathon. The first one were in Lucia uh, about three years ago. We were running for health. We raised money to repair and furnish some health centers, both in Busia and in Namaingo. And then now we have come to run for education, specifically for Namaingo district. That's why I came today. On other challenges facing the district, especially teenage pregnancy, cross-border trade conflict and service delivery gap, Kadaga vowed to address them by engaging the authorities. COVID pandemic has exacerbated the situation. It was bad enough already but has gotten much worse because of the, uh, the COVID pandemic when children are idle, parents are not doing, uh, taking care about them and so on. So we have, we've got to pay special attention to, especially the island districts, because they, they are not, life is not, uh, not a simple one. There are a lot of hardships, there are a lot of needs. So we need to pay more attention to Namaying. Over 15 million shillings was raised during the event that kick-started with the marathon. Philippa Guta, UBC News in Namayingo District.